Alright, so you want to try streaming with XSplit Gamecaster, but you don't know where to start, huh? Well, let's try a rapid fire format. Here's how to get streaming with XSplit Gamecaster in under 5 minutes. Maybe even under 3 if I talk fast enough. Let's go. Quick reminder, this is a side episode of my XSplit Master Class, sponsored by XSplit. In the playlist link in the description below are all the episodes you need to find out everything you need to know about XSplit Gamecaster. So if I go over anything too quickly, I covered it way more in depth in one of those episodes. This is just to get that initial spark going if you don't want to sit through a long video. This is a speed run setup. Let's go. You ever look at the Elgato Stream Deck and think, man, I wish I could have all of that power in the palm of my hands. Well, now you can. Install the app on iOS or Android, connect your Stream Deck software on PC, and start setting up your program launchers, CPU monitors, button to control your key lights, and stream scene switching, all within minutes. It doesn't get much easier than this. Try it free with the link in the video description. First, download XSplit Gamecaster from my affiliate link in the description below. Why haven't you downloaded it already? Install it, sign in with an XSplit account, or make a new account if you don't have one yet, and then go to settings, manage accounts, and link up any social media or streaming platform accounts that you wish to use with XSplit. Go to settings, devices, and change your system audio device to wherever your game sound is coming from. Set your microphone to, well, your microphone. Boost your mic if it's too quiet, and lower system sound if needed so that your system sound isn't overpowering or overbearing on your microphone. Your viewers need to hear both you and your game sound. Change your webcam device to the appropriate webcam for you, whatever you have plugged in. I'm not going to judge. Go to streaming settings. Choose your desired stream profile from the drop down menu. Leave the settings on automatic. Close settings. Click the laptop icon in the bottom left hand corner of the app and choose whether you're using a direct PC game capture or an external source via a capture card. Make sure it's working. Click themes. Find a theme that you like for your branding. Download it. Go back to the studio tab. Click the new theme in the sets panel and make sure the theme is working to your liking, being sure to click edit scene and tinker with any of the elements that aren't to your liking. Record some test recordings to make sure everything is working and audio levels are balanced, and then get streaming. If you're on a single monitor, use the default control tab hotkey to activate the in-game overlay, or HUD, HUD, uh, to keep an eye on your stream, change scenes, even use pin widgets to keep chat pulled up and things like that so you can see everything that's going on while you're streaming. This XSplit Masterclass is also brought to you by Owned. Owned has lots of cool graphics. You want your stream to have that, wow, where'd you get that effect? Owned stream designs can do that for you. You got avatars, you got logos, you've got alerts, you've got stinger transitions, you've got layouts, you can preview them in real time. They're really cool and you can fully customize them and they're easy to use. Go to eposvox.gg slash own3d, link in the description to check them out and upgrade your stream today. And that's it. You're off to the races. XSplit Gamecaster makes it super easy to get up and running with streaming quickly with minimal setup hassle. If you're having issues or just want to dig deeper into getting full control over your stream, check out the playlist link in the description down below. Otherwise, hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe for more tech education and stream guides. I'm Eposvox, your stream professor. Thanks for watching.